Tango say, my good uncle. So my people make you lad down. Oh, yo, yo, my good uncle. Oh, yo, yo, my people make we shut down. Oh, yo, yo, my good uncle. Oh, yo, yo, my good uncle, man of the masses. Oh, yo, yo, my good uncle. 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 Oh, yo, yo, this one not the of in mind. Oh, yo, yo. Where they do even no one may person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man do they talk. He do they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they take money in buck. One man picking, they the street, they hawk. Still, them talk, say, make we not talk. But thank God, say, my egun don't come. So my people make you love. Oh, yeah, yeah. My egun don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. My people make you shut up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello there. Good evening to you. Good morning to you. Good afternoon to you from wherever you are watching from. And this is Mayegun. Nah. I'm sharing the broadcast and I expect you to do the same just uh, before you settle down. Share the broadcast. If this is your first time of watching Mayegun, you're not going to really regret it. Don't worry. Subscribe, like, and share. Ani esun raiki Aye kuti de Aye kuti de Oje lu esun raiki Aye kuti de Ani esun raiki Aye kuti de Lori Facebook Tell them Aye kuti de Ani esun raiki Aye kuti de Lori YouTube Aye kuti de Ani esun raiki it is all coming together there's something i want to share with you just before we get fully into this and uh, it's a glimpse i love it see check it out Yoruba Rescue Fund. Ani esunraki. Read the caption of the broadcast. The description as well. And then uh, take a seat. Let's talk. It is already making the news right now uh, in uh, Nigeria. So many things I'm going to talk about, by the way. So many things. But I'm going to start with uh, this coming, gradually coming together or to reality after the emergence of a Kolu Tifnumbu. The Jagawiri, the Jagabandit of uh, 
Lagos, Emilokan of Nigeria. So the last minute, uh, Scott, the last minute uh, maneuvering, the last minute uh, money power that gave him uh, their tickets, which many believe that uh, is actually the fight within the enclave, the conclave of uh, APC. He would never probably be able to say much. But he's coming together now. The rogue that has been accused of being the mastermind of what has now enveloped the northern Nigeria and about to envelope the rest of uh, Nigeria, Hel Rufaya of Kaduna. If you remember vividly, last 48 hours before the emergence of a Kolu, it was this El Rufaya of Kaduna who led the, the northern governors. So Bokwari, when Bokwari told them that uh, the list was too long, they should go and prune it down if they wanted him to endorse someone. When they submit, they pruned the name down to five. It created a lot of uh, records and all of that. But good enough, El Rufaya and his team, they had their way because that's just, uh, it's, not a, it's not an end. It is just a mean to an end, which is the second batch. A divided Nigeria is about to witness even more. From the people who divided Nigeria and Nigerians more, they are about to pull another stunt. And sadly, they will likely get away with it. What is that? Religion. El Rufaya and gang, after delivering Tifnumbu, the deal was that uh, he would be choosing uh, a northerner, of course, as his advice. Then they have started the planting that, uh, you know, that, 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 that message in their midst. And they go this way. A northerner must be the deputy to Tifnumbu. If not, the north will not vote for Tifnumbu. In order to make it uh, work, they have already pushed, and guess those who are actually going to push that for them, the Southwest uh, Lagos Sabobakus. What is wrong in Muslim, Muslim ticket? We are talking about competency. They are talking about this and that. Because El Rufaya tried it in Kaduna in 2015. He reluctantly, sluggishly, coldly accepted a Christian as his deputy. And that deputy saw El in their first term. And in order for them, to, in order for El Rufaya to prove to them that uh, it doesn't really they need that the, the people of a Southern Kaduna who are majorly Christians, he chose a deputy who was uh, who is actually a Muslim. And yeah, he won. An exact same formula is what uh, Tifnumbu is going to have to take if he wants to be president of Nigeria. So they have lined people up already. Some said that, uh, what about uh, Boss Mustafa? He is a Christian. What about uh, this Plateau State governor? I can't remember his name. He is a Christian. He played a major role as well in delivering Tifnumbu. But the message, I mean, the, 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 the uh, puppeteer who is going to hold the hand of the puppet. They know how to do their job very well. So in northern Nigeria today, there is already preachings in their different mosques, especially in Kaduna. If you have been hearing about Kaduna, Kaduna in the news, El Rufaya is their governor. And God knows how many of uh, people of southern Kaduna who have died simply because Hell Rufaya was trying to resell Tulful Lani terrorists in uh, Southern Kaduna. It's so bad that every Southern Kaduna community ransacked by these terrorists. Once the occupants, the owners have been chased away, the terrorists will settle there. The crime scene, a supposed crime scene, and they would do They are there right now in Kaduna. And the Southern Kaduna, I mean, sorry, the Kaduna government under El Rufaya has been gazetting them 
and uh, appointing Emir for some of these areas in Kaduna today. So you should be prepared for the advancement of the Aruga in a much violent and then a vicious way. And this is the formula. So, as it is in that same Kaduna, I don't understand that we've so much, oh, but some of you do. You will help us. They've already given me the interpretation of this preaching. We would not vote for Tifnumbu if you choose a Christian from the north. Because according to this uh, jihadist, even the northern Christians, they are not human beings to them. Talk less of you southerners who they publicly called infidel in your one Nigeria. But usually it is Mayegun. Mayegun is the one that is trying to cause problem. Mayegun is this and that. If you understand that also very well, maybe you should help us. What is this man saying about your APC or any political party that presents any other candidate other than Muslim should forget the northern Nigeria? And they mean it. Mm-hmm. So when the Muki so mobile, Kaita, Musamman got a bin de shapi gum noning Aliwa. Kuma gum noning Aliwa, Musamman Musulmi, Kusani Chewa, Kuncha Amana al Umoku, Kuma Kunsayed the al Umoku, Kuma yet the Kukiwa, Kuki Kasa al Umoku Akasua as hair, at O Kudi Abaku Kuseda al Umoku. Walla he do one day Wulak and Ta al Umasa see Allah Wulak and Tashidunia de la Hera. Wallahi jama'a kuma bayani za su zo nan gaba insha Allah daga cikin sharuda shugaban da ake zaba a musulunci sai an duba mai lafiya wannan sharadi ne a musulunci mun karanta da ku a minbarin nan sharadi na shugaba ya zama yana da lafiya sharadi na shugaba ya zama yana da addini akwai dalilan da ake dubawa kafin a zabi shugaba yanzu kuma abin da yake iske mu kuma muna nan muna kallon ku Muna nan muna kallon ku kada ku kuskura ku ce za ku dauko mana arne daga arewa kada ku kuskura cewa za ku dauko mana arne to wannan dalili ne mu yi watsi da ku mu nemi wanda bai yadda kukai ba domin wannan mara lafiyar yana iya mutuwa arnan arewa makiyin mu ya kofe makofin sa ba mu da wani boye boye akan kiyayyar da arnan arewacin Najeriya suke da mu don sun gwada mana kiyayyen ne baro baro ko ta ina ba daya ba ba biyu ba ba uku ba ba goma ba to duk mutumin da ya gwada ma kiyayya dole ka kiyayin shi don haka muke kiyayan mutane biyu ba ma kaunan mu gansu kusa da shugabancin Najeriya mutun na farko shine arnan arewacin Najeriya mutun na biyu shine in ya muri wadannan mutane biyu damkar shugabanci a hannun su ba karaman illa bace gare mu da addininmu don haka muke ganin ku gwamnonin Arewa da kuka yi tsaye akan abin da kuka yi ba dan Allah kuka yi ba dan abin da kuka karba kuka karba kuma talauci ba zai bar ku ba tunda talauci da wadata a zuciya suke ba zai bar ku ba har ranar tashin alqiyama haka za ku zauna da talaucin zuci Allah ya gyara zukatan mu wannan mummuna abu ne makomar al'umma so what is practically telling is a jama in that uh, Jumat service was that uh, in this Nigeria, this Nigeria and uh, wherever this day are Nigeria, nobody should vote for anyone who is not a Muslim in Northern Nigeria, the Arewa. They will tell you, don't do, you see, don't, don't touch religion, leave religion out of it. An average Southerner will say that to you. Eh, uh, Mayegun, you see, uh, let's leave religion out of it. Ah, you are doing yourself, or you are not doing me, oh, you are doing yourselves. Those who are going to preach in Northern Nigeria are not going to preach about electricity, about education, about all these things that some of you are going to read or write a, a thesis about. It is about uh, uh, Ali Jono. It is about uh, 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 Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is about uh, uh, this and that. It is, you know what I mean? It has nothing to do with what many of you see as uh, the proper good of things of life. And it is like that grooming. They are grooming them. In continuation, it made them realize even further. <laughs> 
damkar shugabanci a hannunsu ba karamai illa bace gare mu da addinin mu don haka muke ganin ku gwamnonin arewa da kuka yi tsaye akan abin da kuka yi ba dan Allah kuka yi ba dan abin da kuka karba kuka karba kuma talauci ba zai bar ku ba tunda talauci da wadata a zuciya suke ba zai bar ku ba har ranar tashin alqiyama haka za ku zauna da talaucin zuci Allah ya gyara zukatan mu wannan mummuna abu ne makomar al'umma ake magana akai al'umma ake magana da addinin ta da mutuncin ta a haka ma ya muka kare abun yana hannun mu wani cin mutunci ne ba magani ina ga abun an dauke shi an kai wa'en da gasunan ga yadda suke shi yasa muke fadin wannan kuma idan you know they called you unyamiri the eagles he was telling his uh, jomo that uh, anybody who wants to be deputy for example tifnumbu eh whoever is going to be vice president of tifnumbu must be somebody who is who has a dene a den somebody from islam arewa not any kind of uh, uh, any body it must be muslim because tifnumbu can die anytime whoever is tifnumbu survives eh will become the president who wants to be who wants uh, who want uh, an infidel to be their president that's what he's telling them and you will see them there shouting allah akbar hello hello akbar because he is impressing it upon them and that's exactly how they are going to vote and if numbu knows that so he's going to have to take it as the last result he would have to take it because according to them maybe if numbu would die now you would think that oh my egun doesn't like tifnumbu look at the people who are actually popping him up for you they see him more than you and they seems to know the game of power more than you not politics politics as you call it oh we know politics it's not about knowing politics it's about knowing the game of power you are playing politics they are playing the game of power with you they can eliminate him and make the man the next president but it's so difficult for you to eliminate a bokwari and make your own man a president that is the that's the difference in southern nigeria you are all rocking everywhere you need to get your pvc you need to get your pvc but the power broker in northern nigeria once they feed them with this and the summer summer that with uh watch this oh and the summer the propaganda with follow-up like this then uh, the job is completed. Why you are queuing up, trying to get PVC, trying to do this and that, uh, fee, fee, uh, fingerprint and the rest of that, and then uh, your, uh, what do you call it? Your card reader will not work in Southern Nigeria. They have them ready-made. And because according to them, that is their own future and survivor. You see the difference? But I'm still coming back to that anyway. Muslim, Muslim tickets. And then uh, they have the capacity to make it happen. The unfinished, unfinished job of a Bokowari will be completed by using Tifnumbu to what? To get Yorubas to validate it for them, which is going to be difficult, very, very difficult. I mean, it's going to be difficult this time around, very difficult. Because many, many of us have known better now. And that's why we are saying it to you. If they appeal to you through your religion, you should please see through their lies even more. So they said that uh, El Rufaya, listen, oh, these are the names that are popping up oh, for Tifnumbu. El Rufaya, uh, Zulum, uh, uh, what's this other guy? Hey, the guy Shetima that called uh, Pastor Ruga an ice cream should be should be selling ice cream as a nice man. These are the people they are lining up for him, and they are damning any consequence. So if Kaduno is actually a good uh, thing to say, religion doesn't really matter. Then. You might be in L fire right now with uh, APC Bokowari. What you are about to witness is going to be worse than Armageddon that you have read about or imagined with El Rufaya in the saddle. 
I'm not too worried for what uh, they would do, but I'm so much worried that many, many of you have no idea what uh, is coming upon uh, Nigeria. Number one, APC is not planning to have an election. And if for anything, you can call it a coronation in what we know, if they will ever leave that power at any point. But look at it this way. Nigeria is so divided as we speak. And the APC, Egbekebe, who have taken away the lifetime of a generation, eight years, that's close to 10 years, a decade, which is uh, enough to make and prepare a set or a generation for what to face, what to come, and then, uh, you know, how to face them. Today, that is uh, stolen and taken away completely. So I was uh, looking around on social media earlier, then I came across the man that denied MKO Abiola at the last minute. Just the same thing that uh, some people said that uh, it is history that is about to repeat itself. When MKO Abiola was uh, running then for presidency in Nigeria, MKO Abiola was uh, pretty much loved than this uh, Kalu, to be honest. Or maybe I was too young to understand how uh, Abiola made that happen then because uh, with his own uh, opposition to Shif I mean, sorry, to uh, the late sage, Shif Obafemi Awolowo, which made some Yorubas never, ever to really like Abiola himself. But in the journey on the road to Hope 93, many Yorubas didn't support him, but many also supported him. However, he was the only one who could who did pull that, but he couldn't pull it off completely. He pulled all, he pulled the Muslim Muslim ticket because of his record, his media presence at the time, like this Tifnumbu as well. But it didn't succeed. When Abiola ended up in jail, languishing inside Abacha's uh, gulag. His own supposed uh, deputy, who was also running against him at some point, before Abiola clinched or bought the ticket as well. Yeah, he, he also paid. It's been a while. People have been paying delegates, and delegates have been uh, deciding for who becomes your candidate. And then, eventually, the system chooses who becomes your president. So, that is not the story for now. The man's name is uh, Babagana Kinjibe. I bet he stepped down for Abiola in that uh, just convention, I believe. Babagana Kinjibe became the vice president to Abiola is a Muslim. Abiola was a Muslim. And they were meant to be carrying the support of uh, the northern Muslims. Importantly, the northern Muslims. That was why Abiola agreed. But when Abiola ended up in jail, Baba Ganak in Jibe, they camped to Abacha's camp and he became part of Abacha's government. When Abiola died in prison, after Abacha's death, Baba Ganak in Jibe, eh? disappeared from the radar until Bokuari, the Abacha boys, were exhumed from their own graves by the likes of uh, the greedy Tifnumbu who exhumed the corpse of a ghost, I mean, the, the corpse of a, of a tyrant and breathed hair and life to it. And the ghost is now tormenting the remaining 200 million people, even those who didn't probably join them at the time. So once Bokwari returned, Abacha boys returned, 
Baba Gana Kinjibe returned and he has been living off and on off as a rock. The old people's home where Tifnumbu is expected to also occupy while you pray that making no dio, making no dio, and that will be your major for I mean major prayer point for the next uh, four years. If you make your if you make Tifnumbu and you use sentiment emotion to let them drag you into this old long miserable journey again. 10 years of a generation wasted. You are going to help them make another generation, making it two generations of wasted generation. Come on, man. So the old people's home, you'll be praying every day. If they say, oh, they don't fly to Fnumbu, go London, or he get a killer, go. They don't fly to Fnumbu, go America, go check uh, BP. Then you go to pray as Yoruba people. You won't probably remember to even ask for good governance anymore. You'll be praying. Make Tifunubu no die. President Tifunubu no die. So the power will not return back to the northern Nigeria. But the people who orchestrated the journey of uh, destruction of MKO Abiola, they are becoming the Tifunubu's friends. Man, no deal. No Dear friend, me, I am just analyzing. And now for our eyes, everything go happen. They are his friends now. Even uh, there's this uh, this there's this uh, old woman who believes so much in Tifnumbu. And Tifnumbu, I mean, she's one of the delegates. So she was captured sleeping outside when uh what do you call it? When uh, the camera captured her, that she said she won't go to sleep until they announced uh, Tifnumbu as uh, the candidate. So he became the candidate and he, he visited her. But something happened that uh, that has been so kind of uh, hilarious, right? You will be praying. They said, look at the Tifnumbu. They said it's not well. Look at Tifnumbu. They said he's sick. He's stronger than many, many young people who are wasting their lives. That is a young, um, that's a set of young people. Right, calling other young young people like uh, they are like they are comparing Tifnumbu with other young people because uh, uh, look at Tifnumbu since he won. They said he's not well. He's shaking. He's this and that, and he's been visiting everywhere. So he be like, now that's time. Baba won't take uh, that swag. He won't take enter. So when he enter, spoke with that woman. <laughs> There's something happened, by the way. Okay, and uh, the young people are now saying because Tifnumbu want to prove that he's healthy. Eh? He stood up. It can't work like a uh, italic uh, letter. You know this italic when you are using fonts, eh? Italic, non-italic, bold, bold italic. Uh -huh. No, no, like this. Now slant, there the slant. So they can say, "Person we suppose they people, old people's home, they get treatment." Now in some people they pray, may you can help them fix their lives. I know they mock old people. We get sense so as we get agbalagba. Now, so we get out by yeah, you know that. I'm back on the work like a italic letter, even though italic, anyway. The young people says they are tired. And they can't be like, say, the minimum. So, remember Ensas. Ensas was when uh, the kind of a spontaneous uh, protest by the young people uh, in uh, mostly from southern Nigeria who have been the victims of uh, police brutality. 
but it was an avenue for them when they had the chance of a protesting to organize so well organized and coordinated. They decided to also, also tell me to vent their further anger on what they felt as being the misrule, misgovernance, terrible leadership, and all of that stuff that uh, enveloped this APC, Ebekebese, Nigeria. It was so good that uh, even those of us who are not in Nigeria, who are abroad, many, many of us also mobilized in solidarity with these young people back in Nigeria. But they cut it short. They call them terrorists. Just like everyone else who, if you group, if you gather anywhere as a group against any of this APC, Ekbekebese government, anywhere in Nigeria, you would be considered as a terrorist group. Grouping for protest and all of that is completely banned. Right. So, they declared the young people who were protesting the injustice that they were facing in the hands of uh, the illegal policemen in Nigeria. What do you do to terrorists? Especially in Nigeria. They pardon terrorists. And they turn activists to terrorists. They say, oh, you are an activist. Oh, you are a terrorist. In their book, they went after these young men and women. Oh, it wasn't, a, you know, this was like almost two years ago. They went after them. Many of them who managed to escape, escape and, uh, you know, they left Nigeria. Those who couldn't. Their bank accounts were frozen. Their international passport was uh, cancelled. A lot of things happened. People were being monitored by the agents of the Nigeria government because the, the young people were mobilizing and asking for good governance. Something that uh, has eluded them for all their lives. I have never seen good governance in Nigeria in my life. So everything went cold. Went cold. What happened? Then suddenly, the young people have decided in Nigeria against this rigged system to politicize their struggle, which makes some sense to me that they even have that uh, audacity, that sense of saying, listen, it is either we make it our fight or we die complaining. So it's, it's pretty much like a riding or swimming against the tide. But it's good when you see people going against the system that they know that, that they, they know that have been against it, their own progress for so long. But I bet it, the enthusiasm, the optimism, the 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 the, the level of mobilization, they are becoming contagious and undeniable. Today, let me show you a few. When they started they're mobilizing themselves to go and register to vote, I'm still coming back to that. Oh, I'm not here to discourage you. I am here to see if you can possibly use your intelligence eh, and tackle what will make all your efforts. Uh, absolute nothing at the end of the day, if you know right and you don't ignore it and say, yeah, we will deal with them. No, you won't. And I'll tell you how and why you won't. Check this out. So they were, I mean, at some point, right? In Enugu, you know that uh, Okpara Square in Enugu, right? Young, young people mobilized, young and old, right? For what they believe that will be the fight of their lives. See that this is another part of it as well. In Lagos. They mobilized themselves to TBS, the Far Balewa Square. And this was the site two days ago. Don't tell anybody.
Not just that, they were even giving water to those who are like registering them as well. And this is how coordinated and busy they are. I'm still coming. Dauda! Dauda! No joke. As we are here, uh, talking and all of that, at some point, eh, it was like a war, something that shouldn't be. They wanted to register to vote. They were struggling to get themselves inside in order to do their registration. It's been a tough battle for like a while now. Uh, for um, this morning, when we arrived here, they were seated at the stadium. They were seated. They were seated at that seat. But at the moment, you can see all of them. They've all moved to where the registration is happening because they want to come inside to get their registrations done. Details will unfold as we move on. This is Lagos Talks 91.3 FM. My name is Rhoda Inaju. Please stay with us. Thank you, Rhoda. That was our serious. And this is not just a one place. So it is the same almost all over southern Nigeria right now. And guess what is motivating them? They want to kick out PDP. They want to kick out APC. Sounds good. Most of them are saying they are doing it for Peter Obi. And it's not just that. Oh. Churches are opening their doors. Asking their members to go and get their PVC. PVC. No PVC, no church service. Churches, Catholic churches, all of them are telling people that you should go and get it. Some of them, in fact, there is a church. There is a church, I can't remember his name. That man always sent people to uh, send their, you know, um, his own church members who are students. He will send them to university in Turkey. You pay for all their tuition, their housing, and everything. I forgot his name. Some of you will know him very well. He's got over 300 branches all over Nigeria, according to him. And he's opened all his door for all his members to go and register to vote. Pastor Otobo Sulaiman. Hmm? Sulaiman Otobo. He's also rooting for Peter Obi. And he himself has said that uh, all his members should go and sign up. Omega Church, God bless you. So go and sign up for your PVC. This is the fight of our life. In northern Nigeria, they are just telling everybody who don't get Peking to go and get them ready. Eh? And get their PVC too. It's going to be the north versus the south as you would want it. But some of you said you would change the narrative. Because some of your friends are now opening a uh, headquarters for Labour Party in uh, in Shokoto, in Kano, in Kaduna, Yobe, Taraba, Zamfara, Nasarawa, Naija, Abuja, all those places. They are opening up. They are your northern brothers who also want to be obedient and they don't care where the candidate comes from. Yes, they are saying that to you. Did you know that... Uh, let me say this, if you have been a student, you shouldn't be fighting and struggling to get uh, an identification card. You know, you if you have been a student, even that in that Nigeria, many, many of you are university students. Is, is that how you struggle to get, uh, how long did it take you to get your, your ID card? Even some of you will get ID cards that have their uh, chips in them, chip. You can sit down right now in what the technology is in the whole world today. You can sit down now, eh? And they will take your picture, take your details, okay? And they will print out your card right there for you, right then. But they won't do that. Because that is how to curb rigging. And that is how to, indeed, document every record. And you can manipulate it. So they will tell you, that you have to come back for your uh, for your permanent voters card and they do that to you in southern nigeria 
And when they give you the data, they say, you all say, oh, go and register. Everybody should go and register. Everybody should go and register. But because you don't understand the meaning of a rigged system, a rigged system is not what you see right there on the surface if you're not paying attention. They always leave the evidence right there in the open for you, but some of you are so emotionally attached to what you think will make you get better that you ignore them. They are registering. You are seeing everybody. Oh, they didn't allow us to register. They are still going to complain that uh, people, many people can't find their voter's card. It's either those of you who registered in uh, Delta, I mean Delta North, they will take your voter's card. Eh? They will take you to Asaba South. And then before you finally figure it out, you realize that uh, half of you will never be able to vote in that election. No. And it always happened in this. So they will say 60% uh, collection, Southern Nigeria. 95% collection, voter's card collection, Northern Nigeria. And you think it's about your own education. You participated in a fraudulent system that you can't see through, but you play along. When they play you, you turn around. You see, man, this country, man, this country. Why do you have to struggle to get a voter's card? If they actually want you to vote to choose your leaders. So at the end of the day, 70% mm, of all of you who want to kill yourself in different places trying to get voter's card. Oh, let me put it this way, being generous. Half of you will not get, you will never receive that voter's card. Even after their election, if they conduct it, you will never see that voter's card. Later, they will tell you that, don't worry, you don't really need that much. What you need is that uh, just take your uh, temporary voter's card, go there. Then half of you will not find your fingerprints because it is either the card reader is not going to work that moment or there will be no network. Then you see that Northern Nigeria, it doesn't really matter. They have a way of voting. And if you can remember, let me show you a tiny bit of it. I think I saved that one earlier. Give me a sec. Allah <laughs> A typical Southerner will tell you, go and read the new electoral act. As if to say, it is not every four, four years. They will tell you they have amended the electoral act. I know some of you are very young. And when I say very young, it's because if you are around the 23, 24 right now, even if you are 25 years old, hmm, you are so young to understand the, 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 the complexity, the fraud behind everything that they print in that uh, useless uh, books that they call the Electoral Acts. You are not paying attention, are you? But most of the time you'll find out later that uh, every four, four years, there's always an uh, amendment to the Electoral Act to make you think there's a new thing going to happen. The reality here is this. Ask your brothers and sisters who have participated in electoral electoral process as NYSC members in Northern Nigeria. Let them tell you their experiences. 
then you will realize that uh, in this 21st century, this 21st century, educated you, you that claim to be educated in that Nigeria, you don't have any central uh, information system in your government because once you do that, it is going to expose a lot of fraud. Oh, man. A fraud of your sensors. How many numbers of people are in Nigeria today? It is always a guess game. Do you know why? Because uh, your allocation is determined by the numbers of the people you declare. If you manage to make it up. But scientifically, you can't prove that number anywhere. That's number one. You have those of you who have signed up as uh, drivers who have a driver license, Sabi. You have your names, your image, your sex, your information taken into the system in Nigeria. Many, many of you have your own uh, passport, international one, right? International passport where you they have your details there. Many, many of you have a bank account. You have your BVN, they call it. BVN that takes your details, including your biometric, to be sure that uh, your account is yours and nobody else, nobody else's. This information is in their system. What else have they taken your information for? Now, this same rigged system, eh, who conducted an election with electro, you didn't know that electronic voting started from 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Good luck, Iberi Julantan. Make sure that uh, your electoral act said if uh, the finger can, I mean, if the fingerprint cannot read you, that means you can't vote. So they can different disenfranchise you that way. And in a way, if the result is black, you know. But yet, many, many of you didn't vote because your the card cannot read your finger. I mean, the card reader cannot read your finger. The disc cannot do that. And we have that on record. They still declared winner, didn't they? They did. And the winners did you bad, didn't they? They did. And they are still doing it. Because you are paying attention to theory. You are not paying attention to the practicability. What is reality? Give me a second. I think there is a fox outside my door that is uh, making this horrible noise. I need to shut my window. Then I will continue. Quite, uh, I've, got, I've got all these wild animals around there. They roam about, you know, and then they come on the street to fight right there on our faces there. We should be making videos of them. Sorry for that interruption. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey.